so for those of you who have passed your being network kyc you need to create a wallet if you click on the wallet section since they are upgrade there they everything changed okay they added a lot of things right so um this wallet right here we're gonna be updating your wallets yeah because very soon we're gonna be sending and receiving b tokens very very soon okay it is very close we're gonna be buying and selling this token so i am going to be showing you how to create this particular wallet and if you've not passed kyc try as much as possible to pass your kyc because the kyc um process is really really simple you do not need to submit any document or whatsoever they don't request for neighbor bill national identity cards and your driver's license so don't be scared the kyc is very very simple and it's very smooth okay now if many of you um when you come to the kyc option right here and you click you're going to be getting that prompt that says uh you should wait for the next round okay now make sure you keep on doing it because people are passing kyc's smoothly these days without any hassle right now once you come here make sure you complete your kyc now this is how the kyc is once you click on the go to the kyc section click through few options where they get you have to accept some terms and conditions and they're going to pop out a camera that it's going to take uh some live you're going to do some liveness check here liveness check the robot is going to be telling you whether you're you know moving your head to the right left up and down okay just follow through the process once you're done as long as you're able to capture your face and whatever liveness check you're doing is correct you are going to be verified instantly there's nothing like come um, um 24 hours verification whatever you're being verified immediately now before you proceed to the kyc uh, section to do anything make sure you go to account and security section okay and bind anything that you can bind be it your email your facebook i bound i had to i bound my facebook and my phone number and also my email i even bound my um, wallet address i did bound i think four things one two three four five i think five things you can bind four things but the most important thing to bind is your phone number email okay you can bind your google or wallet i actually bind uh, how to bind my google as well the same email address i uh, here i saw i actually bound in uh, added here now you can actually decide to you know bind your wallet make sure that a crypto wallet you're binding it's not so the, it's not the one you're using to store your crypto assets else i don't know we don't have to trust any website when it's uh, when it comes to you know our crypto wallet okay everything is a suspect until they are proven to uh you know be trustworthy now let's go back and do the needful after that you have done justice with the secu uh, account and security section come back to your kyc section complete your kyc i know i'm actually sounding this there is no need of making kyc video when i know that the kyc is easy peasy right now once you're done if you have been given access to kyc do it immediately come back to your wallet section and create a wallet now once i click on the wallet section it says update import a wallet using citrus private key or cloud backup i'm not going to be doing that i'm going to be doing this one right here say private secure and always in your hands now when you click on update wallet it says you explicitly acknowledge and agree to create a new wallet to the old premier wallet will be deleted on may 20th 25 please ensure proper backup and export it okay so it says please ensure proper backup and export it now educational purpose and non-advice the information displayed is strictly for educational purposes and informational purposes only only okay it does not constitute an offer solicitation recommendation financial advice or investment advice regarding any product including nfts you know what nfts are which is the non-fungible tokens okay the digital assets now here it says risk acknowledgement crypto products and NFTs are unregulated and may involve sustainable risk past performance is not indicative of future results information provided is factual but not guaranteed for accuracy or completeness now i don't want to read everything here i believe that everyone who's coming to create the wallet here was going to say this read through and digest all by yourself now i'm going to scroll down and click on i accept here it says set wallet password set a password to manage your wallet this password is unrecoverable hear me guys as soon as you get to this point this is where you get your hard copy and a pen get it down in a hard copy many of you will be like i have a notepad i'm gonna actually i I'll rather paste it in my notepad something can happen to your phone and then your notepad is gone between a twinkle of, a twinkle of an eye and then you start running health scatter so put it down in a piece of paper to avoid stories that touches the heart okay now if you forget it you can set a new one by resetting and re-importing your wallet now if you have your seed phrase the seed phrase that you'll be given after this password uh, uh um section is the only way out you now have to create a new one like you know you ha now have to import and then set a password so i believe you understand everything i'm trying to say now i'm going to enter a password right here and then at least i'm going to enter 
uh, at least six digit password after you put in the password here repeat it here and then click on confirm button okay so that is what how it works i'm gonna blur this section so that no one is gonna see my password once we are done in clicking on confirm we'll be taken to the next page okay so let me put in my password so after i have actually added my password it says allow me network to use face id they're asking me as a question if i'm going to allow please enable facial recognition for this app okay so i actually clicked on this allowed okay because i believe that with my password and my seed phrase i'm good so i clicked on this allowed and i was brought to this page now here on this page it says back up your wallet's private key okay private secure and always in your hands now i'm gonna click on manual backup yes i would want to write it down in a piece of paper i do not um want to you know keep it in cloud anything can happen to the phone right so i'm gonna click on the manual option right here i'm gonna click on the manual option okay so once you click on the um, backup manually you're going to be brought to this page where it says check all boxes to confirm that you are aware of the importance of the seed trace b network will not keep your backup seed freeze yes since being network will not keep a backup of your seed freeze i'm going to take it acknowledging that yeah do not save the seed freeze by taking screenshots or copying okay uh copying to your um notepad uh, notepad a lot of people are going to do that <laughs> you can you can never be careful always okay so write it down it says if the seed phrase is leaked it may lead to the theft of your assets i acknowledge that yes that is what will happen now you click on the next button click on the next button to be taken to the next page here it says enter password now i'm going to try entering the first password i created for the wallet if it doesn't work then i'm going to be using the password i used while registering for b mining app remember what i just said okay so i'm going to enter that password first and then after i enter the password i click on the confirm button right here so it turns out that the password is correct i used the same password i actually uh, provided while i was trying to create this wallet section okay all right now it says please write down the following words in order and keep them safe never disclose your seed phrase to anyone or you may lose your assets and that is correct like if i see if someone should see my seed phrase and you know everything about cryptocurrency you are going to use it to import whether with a budget wallet trust wallet metamask and once you do so you're going to see all my assets and you have access to them so that is the ma major reason why you are being cautioned at every given point that you should not disclose it to anyone okay no matter how you trust them now here it says click to view the seed phrase please ensure there is no other people or cameras around now what you just need to do is click on here and your seed phrase is going to show just write them down from number one to twelve and then once you're done writing them down click on the next button that is how it's been done so once you're done writing down your seed phrases after you click on the eye icon for them to show your seed phrases write them down then click on the next button you're going to be brought to this page where you see where it says confirm seed phrase now you would have to you know confirm your seed phrase you're going to see seed phrase ash one or they're going to actually show you uh in the first role that you should choose the one that stands for the number one seed phrase you wrote down the second one they're going to be showing you numbers and ask you to choose from the boxes the one that is number five the one that is number six or whatsoever okay just go down to where you wrote it down and choose from the boxes the one that is uh representing the number they're asking you to choose from the box once you're done click on complete and then we move to the next page so once you're done and you click on complete you're going to be seeing yourself into your wallet dashboard right here and you're going to be seeing the send receive history and then ethereum is going to be there already as a custom token now you can